Good evening. This is All India Radio Kohima. I'm Jonas Yantan with the Evening News. The headlines. Nation gears up for the world's largest COVID-19 vaccination exercise on January 16th. Nagaland receives first batch of 26,500 doses of Covishield vaccine. Health Minister Espanyol Palm flags off the vaccines to nine districts. Polio vaccination day rescheduled to 31st January amid massive COVID-19 vaccination drive. An Indian Armed Forces Veterans Day being observed today. Nation is gearing up for the world's largest COVID-19 vaccination exercise, which will begin on Saturday. The massive immunization drive will be rolled out by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Preparations have gained momentum with planes carrying vaccines flying into airports across the country. From various airports, vaccines are being dispatched to small cities and towns in readiness for inauguration exercise beginning Saturday. From Assam to Goa and from Jammu and Kashmir to Kerala, the vaccines are carefully and swiftly being transported to far corners of the country. 95% of the 1.1 crore doses of Covishield vaccine purchased by the government have been delivered, shipped to nearly 60 consignee points across India in the past two days. Nagaland received its first batch of 26,500 doses of Covishield vaccine today at Dimapur. The consignment was then transported to a storage facility located at the Directorate of Health and Family Welfare, Kohima. Health Minister Espanyol Palm in a tweet said vaccines will be transported to the districts under security protection. He said healthcare workers will be the first to receive the vaccine. Later in the evening, Pangyu flagged off the vaccines to nine districts at Directorate of Health and Family Welfare, Kohima. In the first phase, 13,250 health workers will receive the two doses in 28 days apart. The vaccine will be administered in the arm. A total of 36,845 beneficiaries from Nagaland, including state and central health workers and frontline workers, have registered. Those desirous to get themselves vaccinated will have to register in Go Win portal of the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. Principal Director of Health and Family Welfare Dr. Visole Sokre said the state will be launching the COVID-19 vaccination drive in nine districts on 16 January except Longleng and Kifre due to connectivity issue. He said for Kohima district the vaccination drive will be launched in the presence of Chief Minister Nipuri at the Naga Hospital Authority Kohima. Dr. Sokre said this during the media sensitization workshop on COVID-19 vaccination today at Kohima. He said a vaccination will take place in four phases, first among the health workers in the health units and in the second phase, frontline workers will be vaccinated. The third phase will include people who are above 50 years old, while fourth phase will cover persons below 50 years and above 18 years having go morbidity health condition he said the vaccines will be administered free of cost for the first and second phase of vaccination clearing on the myths and misconception regarding the vaccine dr sokra said vaccine covid shield is safe and it is normal if any immunized persons develop fever or body ache he said all necessary medical kits will be available at the immunization site if anyone develops any such symptoms On transportation and preservation of the vaccines, he said 109 cold chain points for storage of the vaccines are made available in all the 11 districts and elaborate security arrangements is done for safe transportation of the vaccines. The principal director emphasized on the need to follow covid appropriate behavior during and after vaccination. Nagaland reported 32 positive cases of covid-19 today, taking the total daily to 12,035. Health and Family Welfare Minister Espanyol Palm in a tweet said 28 cases were detected from Kohima, 3 in Dimapur and 1 from Mukokchung. In addition, 11 patients have recovered from the infection which included 9 from Kohima and 1 each in Dimapur and Mukokchung. With this, a total of 11,685 have recovered while 124 cases are active. As the country gears up for the biggest vaccination drive against COVID-19, we present a series of quick facts one should know about COVID-19 vaccination. 
This is the first time that vaccines for COVID-19 has been developed and launched globally to protect oneself, family and communities from coronavirus. Vaccination for COVID-19 is voluntary. However, it is advisable to receive the complete schedule of the vaccine for protecting oneself against the disease and also to limit the spread among close contacts. This news comes to you from All India Radio, Kohima. The massive countrywide COVID-19 vaccination drive will be rolled out by Prime Minister Narendra Modi from 16th of January. This would be world's largest immunization exercise. Health Ministry said, therefore, it has been decided in consultation with the Office of the President of India to reschedule the Polio Vaccination Day, also known as the National Immunization Day or Polio Ravivar, to 31st of January. President Ramnath Govin will launch the Bolio National Immunization Day on 30th of January, which is a Saturday, by administering bolio drops to some children at a Rostra Palipawan. The decision is in keeping with the stated policy of the Health Ministry to ensure that COVID management and vaccination services, as well as known COVID essential health services, proceed in tandem without adversely impacting each other. Indian Armed Forces Veterans Day is being observed today. This day is celebrated on 14th of January every year to honour services rendered by veterans of the army. This year is being celebrated as Swarnim Vijay Vash. It marks 50th anniversary of 1971 Indo-Pak War. Speaking on the occasion, Army Chief General Manoj Naravani said last year had been very challenging for the nation and the armed forces. He said the armed forces bravely stayed at the northern borders while also battling the pandemic efficiently. He exuded pride that the army had the support of veterans in carrying this out. The Army Chief said this entire year will be celebrated as Swarnim Vijay Vash to mark 1971 war victory. He added that several events will be organised across the country. Advisor for Prisons Printing and Stationery H. Hayeng said, Inter-District Road of Mon and Nokla, constructed under Department of Underdeveloped Area, is a milestone achievement of Tobu area of Mon District and Bangsha area of Nokla District. He said this yesterday while inaugurating the International Trade Centre, Dan Bangsha, to Shinyu Road at Shinyu Village under Mon District. Haying said this road will become the lifeline of the region where connectivity between neighbouring villages of Kumingan and Konyak is of paramount importance. The advisor sought cooperation from the public to support the government in all developmental activities of the remote region. Nagaland Governor Arun Ravi has extended Sukrania greetings to Chagasang brothers and sisters and to the people of Nagaland. In a message, Ravi said, Sukrania is a harvest festival and the essence of this beautiful festival is sanctification of the Chagasang community. Ravi said rituals involved in the festival are meant to purify the souls and the children also learn the rich spiritual and cultural practices. Governor Ravi said, on this significant occasion, may God bless all with good health, happiness and prosperous life. And as the nation fights COVID-19 pandemic, let us all remember to stay safe and protected by following these three simple steps. Wear a face mask, wash hands frequently with soap and water or use hand sanitizer and follow social distancing norms. And now to end the news, here are the main points again. Nation gears up for the world's largest COVID-19 vaccination exercise on January 16th. Nagaland receives first batch of 26,500 doses of Covishield vaccine. Health Minister Espang Yopom flags off the vaccines to nine districts. Bolio Vaccination Day rescheduled to 31st January amid massive COVID-19 vaccination drive. An Indian Armed Forces Veterans Day being observed today. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night.